all right hey guys welcome back to my channel this reading here is for my Aquarius zodiac sign this is your freestyle reading for the month of January uh, so yeah let's dive right into it I'm not going to keep you up too much uh, too much here uh, this is a general reading so this may not resonate with you if it does everything may not be for you this reading could be messages for someone else and the energies are fluid and interchangeable so energies can cross and if you need to please flip the energies so we're going to pull your overall energy here with the Urban Tarot deck. Um, also, all of the decks that I use are down in the description box below. If you guys are interested in those as well. Uh, they also have the affiliate links uh, with them as well uh, to the website that I ordered them from, which is Amazon. I get all of my decks from Amazon here. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and pull your energy. Clarify the overall energy of Aquarius. What is Aquarius going through? What's Aquarius' energy? Oh, we have two. Okay, I normally only take one, but two popped out, so I'm going to take them. Let's see. We have Strength, an Ace of Disc. In this card, it's the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of courage. This is that Leo energy. A lot of courage and strength here. Confidence towards some type of new opportunity that you're going towards here, okay? Definitely a new opportunity here that you're going towards. Could be financial, career-wise, new job, um, something you're doing with money, some type of opportunity that's going to bring you abundance, stability, things like that here. So let's line it up here, and we're going to pull some more cards here with the... Other deck here, which is the Gilded Tarot deck. All right, let's see. Clarify this energy of Aquarius, please. Tell me what's going on with Aquarius. Ooh, so we have the Devil, but the Queen of Pentacles. And let's get one more, please. Tell me what's going on with Aquarius. Knight of Wands. The world is on the bottom of the deck. So we do have the devil energy here, which could be obsession, addiction, control, toxicity, okay, or an uh, obsession type of energy. You could be overly working, things like that. Then we also have the queen of pentacles, working parent, nurturing energy, queen of pentacles, very stable, uh, someone very, um, could be like a, a, a single parent, a single mom or dad. But this person, Queen of Pentacles, a very focused and driven person, okay? Someone that's very, um, knows what to do with money here. As you can see, the peacock is here. Uh, they always lose their feathers, but they grow, regrow them again. So it's like, with the Queen of Pentacles, it's someone that can go through hard times, but can turn around and get back on their feet again, okay? We also have the Knight of Wands, which could be a move of an address, okay? You could be moving. Or this could also represent the friends with benefits energy, player type of energy. Okay, this also represents um, starting something that's going to be successful, that's going to bring a lot of success into your life. Passion, fire here, excitement here. So let's clarify. Clarify the devil here for Aquarius. Mm. We have one more that popped out here as well. I seen it when it flipped over. Ah, there it is. Eight of Wands. So the devil is clarified with the lovers and the eight of wands energy here. You could be dealing with a toxic lover. Could be a lot of fast movement here. Maybe you move too quickly in a move mood. Move too quickly in a relationship here with someone. Okay, or there's fast movement here. Hmm. Nine of Wands is on the bottom, six of pentacles, and the justice card. Could be going through, um, could be a possible divorce. Six of Pentacles. Nine of Wands is that wounded warrior energy. Let's pull one more here. Clarify one more. What's the fast movement here? Seven of Pentacles. King of Wands energy. Yeah, to me, it's like you're moving too fast with the lover here. And this uh, quick movement with this person has caused some toxicity or maybe your uh, obsession. I'm not saying that you have to be the one that's obsessive, okay? I'm just saying that's the energy surrounding you, Aquarius, okay? Um, 
Let's see here. Let's pull the uh, Queen of Pentacles. We'll clarify with the Love Oracle on that. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles, please. So, Eight of Pentacles. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles, please. You could be working on your stability here, Aquarius. Really focused on it. Really um, trying to perfect your craft here. Eight of uh, Swords and the Five of Wands. Yeah, you could be really focusing on something. Maybe a little too much where you're kind of stuck in your head about the situation. With the Eight of Swords and the Five of Wands here. Okay? Because we have the Eight of Pentacles that popped out as well. Let me see if I can get my hands together to get all three cards up here. <laughs> okay. So we have the Eight of Pentacles here with the um, Eight of Swords and the Five of Wands. So you really could be... Uh, a lot of times Five of Wands, is, it's looked at it like fighting. But it can also be like training. So... Um, You could be really trying to perfect your craft here is what I'm getting. But you might be kind of stuck in your head about something. Or dealing with some type of mental battle here. Um, when it comes to this, this financial situation that you're working on. I feel like you're looking at some things here with the Five of Cups. Maybe regretting it. Or maybe looking back on things like, man, I shouldn't have done it that way. Uh, because we have the full card, maybe maybe it was one of those things you just kind of took a leap of faith. You didn't really think about it. You just kind of went for it. And you're kind of looking back like, man, why didn't I think that out? You know, like, why didn't I think that out before I did that? Let's clarify the uh, Knight of Wands here. Let's clarify the Knight of Wands energy. The Hierophant. Clarify the Knight of Wands energy here. And the Ace of Pentacles. So yeah, you could definitely be like this is emotional because we have the Hierophant here. You could definitely be either dealing with someone that's a player type of energy that you may be possibly wanting to commit with, wanting to be in a relationship with here, wanting to start something new, you know, with the Ace of Pentacles here. Start something that's going to bring stability into your life, okay? Or you could be committed to, um, this again, not Knight of Wands. You could be starting some type of new business that you're very committed to, um, that you've been praying for, that you've been spiritually manifesting for yourself here. And it's um, with the Knight of Wands energy, that's something passionate, very exciting that's going to pay off. Or that may actually be doing a little better than you expected here. Because we do have the Seven of Wands, but we also have the Ace of Cups. So let's pull a couple of Love Oracle cards here and see what the heck is going on, Aquarius, okay? Kind of all over the place here. You're, it's like you have love, but you also have finances and career. Clarify this, the energy of Aquarius as far as love and relationships. Clarify the energy of Aquarius as far as love and relationships. Clarify the energy of Aquarius. Thank you. Yeah, so we have both receiving what you need, progression arriving, moving on, closure issues here. So again, you could be moving on with, um, I just feel like this is movement with someone. You maybe just be moving a little too fast here with the double energy, okay? Maybe you need to just kind of slow it down just a little bit that you're, and you're kind of over investing. That may be what it is. You're over investing in this relationship. Okay, you're you're giving too much. But you may just have to step back just a little bit and allow them to give some to you, okay, in this relationship. And then we have the lightning. So sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany of people, transformation. So you may this um the stuck feeling, this feeling of feeling like you're trapped in your head, internal battle, you know, mental battle here. It's going to, um, it's going to change here, all right? It's, it's definitely about to break. And you're going to uh, free yourself from this mental battle or this mental fight that you're going through, whatever it is for, all right? And then we do have palm trees, so stability, security, per, uh, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. Again, starting something that's going to make you feel secure. The Ace of Pentacles, this could be job, relationships, love, getting all of that okay all of that let's see let's pull um let's pull the energy surrounding you real quick see if we can get some energy surrounding you 
Clarify the energy surrounding the Aquarius, please. Could have sworn one flipped over. I guess not. Clarify the energy of Aquarius. Seven of Swords. Clarify the energy surrounding Aquarius. Death card came out in reverse. Interesting. Uh, and I, don't, I normally don't do reversals, but I'm taking it as it came out. Four of Swords. Of Seven of Swords, Death in Reverse, and Four of Swords. It's like a situation where something sneaky, conniving, deceitful type of energy is happening. And maybe something started again here, or the ending was over, the Death card. Somebody's not wanting to end something, but somebody is wanting to end something. It's like a, somebody wants that ending, but somebody else doesn't want an ending. Or like you want to you wanna end, but you don't want to end. Or they want to end the relationship, but they don't want to end. You get what I'm saying? Like they're back and forth. It's like a eh, 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 eh. Like they're back and forth with it here. Let's pull a little more. Clarify some more of this energy, please. Queen of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, they're undecided. It's like a... They're going back and forth here about what they want, okay? We have the Four of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Judgment. So there definitely could be like a, a person that's trying to decide if they want the relationship or they want to end the relationship. They want the marriage or they don't want the marriage. Like, do I want a divorce? Yes. Do I want a divorce? No, no, no. I want the marriage. Like, I feel like somebody's going back and forth here with the Queen of Swords. That I, I don't feel like there's... I don't feel like there's a lot of communication though. I'm not I'm not feeling a lot of communication here. Let's pull some love oracle cards here. I don't know what the heck is going on here with this person. Again, the Queen of Pentacles is showing up here in this energy. So this could be where the mental block is. Clarify this seven of swords energy. Wedding rings, the golden mirror, and coffee cup. Yeah, wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting. And then the golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted. Yeah, see, that's that. I want it, but I don't want it. I want it, I don't want it. Energy. Like somebody wants to end it, but they don't want to end it. Or they don't want to end it, but they want to end it. This could be somebody that you're married to. <laughs> Or what we're married to, or someone that's married. But this could also be a narcissist type of energy that I'm picking up on because we do have the go to mirror. One sided relationship. Maybe they see you moving on, moving forward, things like that. And now they're like, hey, 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 come back, come back, come back. Oh, no, 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 never mind. Don't worry. I don't want that back. Never mind. It's like they get you, and then they're like, oh, nope, I don't want you anymore. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles energy. Heart with the key. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles energy. And they, yeah, it's like, they, it's like they're welcoming you into their life, but then they're like, no, I don't want, I don't, I don't want you in my life. I don't want to date you anymore. We have the heart with the key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together perfect, and then date, meeting someone new, dating, get back out there and plan and set a date. It's like they can't decide if they want to be in a relationship or out of a relationship. That could be what this toxic energy is, is that I'm picking up on here. They can't decide. They're back and forth, and they're like, what the freak? Aquarius, I don't understand how you're dealing with this, because this is making my head hurt. <laughs> like, <laughs> what is this? It's like a child here. Like, uh, <laughs> okay, let's see. Any clarity here, advice here for Aquarius? Like, I'm, I'm done with their energy. They're playing too much, okay? <laughs> Any clarity or advice here for Aquarius? Sacral chakra, joy and stability. One more, please. Clarity or advice here for Aquarius. Clarity or advice here for Aquarius. Success and growth. Okay, Aquarius, whatever you're starting, okay, whatever the control card is like um, the chariot, okay, control, you're in control of your life, you're in control of where you want to be, what direction you want to go, what relationship you want to be in, what relationship you don't want to be in, just because a person is iffy and back and forth, back and forth, does not mean that you have to put up with it, all right? 
We have the sacral chakra. This is that energizing energy. This is the sacral that is located um, below the belly button. Okay. This is that um, exciting energy. This is that also that sexual energy as well. And then we also have the joy and stability here. Yeah, you're going after something that you enjoy, something that you want to to have in your life. Joy and stability. You want to bring in financial um, stability here. I'm feeling that. I really do feel that. It's like you're focused on growing something, creating something, but you also got this love nest, love mess going on here. That's freaking. I don't. I don't know. I feel like it's it's disrupting everything. That's why I got out of that energy because I was like, nope, it's too many games that's going on here. So I do feel like there's someone here trying to distract you from your goal, right? I, they're not trying to do it intentionally. They're not just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to mess Aquarius up. It's just they don't know what the heck they want, okay? But you do. And since you know what you want, you're in control of that. You go after what you want in your life because we have success and growth here, okay? Once you focus, once you crack down, once you commit to it, success and growth is coming for you. That's with the stability here. Whatever this is, this Knight of Wands energy, with this Hierophant and Ace of Pentacles, whatever this new ideal is that you're thinking about, go after it, Aquarius. Start it. This is the opportunity that's going to bring you the success and growth that you are desiring, okay? Ignore this down here, all right? <laughs> Let's see. We're going to end your reading off with a couple of angel answers. So, guys, if you enjoyed this reading, make sure you smash that like button down below. If you are new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. I would definitely love to have you here. It's absolutely free. And... Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you will be notified every time that I upload. All right, which is pretty much every day, guys. <laughs> okay, so any last messages here for Aquarius? Yeah, there's something better. Yes, there is definitely something better for you, Aquarius, okay? Whatever this is you're dealing with here, oh, oh, I feel for you. Choose a new direction, all right? I do feel like you're doing that. I do see you turning the corner here. For this joint stability and the success and growth for yourself. Any last messages here for Aquarius? Ooh, we also have romance, okay? Love definitely coming in, romance coming in your life, and improving health. So if you've been feeling a little down and out, haven't been feeling too good, things like that, the um, it's about to change for you, okay? So, um, Aquarius, yes, this is your messy reading. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is your reading, guys. I thank you so, so, so much for the love and support on my channel. I hope that you guys will return when I re-upload again. And again, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe down below if you're new to my channel. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.